Hi, I'm Marco Wu from eeprogram.com. This example is going to talk about two filters. The first one is Butterworth filter. The second one is a Trubitraff filter. I said the order of the filter is going to be one in both cases. The sampling frequency will be 1000 Hz and the cutoff, cutoff frequency at 10 Hz. This is the syntax of how MATLAB to build up a Butterworth filter. After I build up the filter, now I want to display the result. I choose the number of points in the curve to be 5,000 points. And I use the function frequency to plot the curve. Here is the result of the Butterworth filter. What we need to focus is the cutoff frequency at 10 Hz. But expect a Butterworth filter at the cutoff frequency have minus 3 dB gain. So we can see from the result at 10 Hz we have the minus 3 dB gain. Next, we are going to do a Trebitraff filter. The syntax of the Trebitraff filter in MATLAB is this. The first example, I'm going to display a, an error example. In this example, I use the magnitude, the ripple magnitude to be a small number. I set it to be one. By doing this, you can see the result from the port. Again, we are going to use the frequency function to display the result of the Trubitz shaft filter. All the code in this example is going to be available in yeeprogrammer.com. You can see it only has minus 1.0 dB drop. It does not match with Trubitraff filter. Trubitraff filter at cutoff frequency, it should have minus 5 dB dB gain. So this time we change. What we change is we change the ripple magnitude. This time, we choose the ripple magnitude to be equal to 5. We do the same part again and we go to 10 hertz frequency. This time when we highlight the point 10 hertz, we can see the result is equal to minus 5 dB. So this time our Jupiter filter is created correctly. We need to make sure the ripple value 
is large enough to allow there are some variation in the filter.